Father, we thank you for your word. We ask the blessing on the reading of your word. May your Holy Spirit lead us, guide us, point us in the direction of all truth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Exodus 35, And Moses gathered all the congregation of the children of Israel together and said unto them, These are the words which the Lord hath commanded that ye should do them. Six days shall work be done, but on the seventh day there shall be to you an holy day, a Sabbath of rest to the Lord. Whosoever doeth work therein shall be put to death. Uh, let's remember the sixth commandment is to the nation of Israel. Uh, they had specific promises. Uh, they were be to, to be a light to the world, uh, to show people uh, who God was. Uh, there is chosen people. Uh, they were chosen because uh, through the nation of Israel, we get uh, the scriptures, we get the word of God. Uh, they had the prophets in the Old Testament, uh, and they brought us the Messiah through the line of uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, uh, through the line of one of Jacob's children, uh, the line of the Lion of the tribe of Judah. He came uh, through Judah's line. Uh, Ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations upon the Sabbath day. Now, many people think we need to keep the Sabbath uh, to be saved nowadays. Uh, in which case they couldn't, uh, if uh, you were part of one of those churches that think we need to worship on the Sabbath, or we need to, the Sabbath being Saturday, or uh, we can't break those laws, and otherwise we're not saved. Uh, <clears throat> the Bible says no flesh shall be justified in his sight uh, by the law. But uh, in keeping the law, if we start a car, we start a fire. Uh, if we uh, cook our food, we start a fire. That would, So we couldn't do any of those things on the Sabbath day. Now, the nation of Israel uh, kept those things. They would prepare enough food. They would do things uh, ahead of time. Uh, but all of this, the law is always meant to point us to Jesus. He is our rest. He is our Sabbath uh, day. We now worship on Sunday. Verse 4, And Moses spake unto all the congregation of the children of Israel, saying, This is the thing which the Lord commanded, saying, Take ye from among you an offering unto the Lord, whosoever is of a willing heart, let him bring it, an offering unto the Lord, gold and silver and brass. Now the Lord wants a willing heart when we give to him. And when we give to his ministries, we give uh, unto the Lord. Uh, 2 Corinthians 9, 7 says, Every man according as he purposeth in his heart, so let him give not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. Uh, he gives instructions unto uh, the pastors of God in First uh, Peter 5, verse 2. It says, Feed the flock of God which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not of filthy lucre, but of a ready mind, neither as being lords over God's heritage, but being an example to the flock. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, you shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. I think there are a lot of pastors nowadays that preach on uh, giving to God, uh, and uh, they'll say things like, uh, you need to give a God, give to God to plant a seed of faith, and many of them are, uh, these uh, pastors are uh, flying around in their private jets and things like that. Uh, they shouldn't be pastors. They shouldn't be doing those things for filthy lucre just to get rich. Um now, I do believe that we should give to God. We uh, should consider tithing of our money. Uh, but many times we might have uh, financial situations uh, where we have to uh, take care of bills. The Lord wants us to be uh, <clears throat> responsible with our money too. And he would want us to give cheerfully. I mean, if our children were starving and uh, we're saying, well, we have to give that to God, I, we need to feed our children of course, first. And there's always things that we need to consider. If we uh, can give unto the Lord first, I think that is always one of the best things that we can do uh, if we are able to do that. But we should give it cheerfully. Okay, so they gave things cheerfully. It says, again, take it from among you an offering unto the Lord, whosoever is of a willing heart, let him bring it, an offering to the Lord gold and silver and brass and purple and or blue and purple and scarlet and fine linen and goat's hair and ram's skins dyed red and badger skins and shittim wood and oil for light and spices for anointing oil and for the sweet incenses and onyx stones and stones to be set for the ephod and for the breastplate. And when there, we'll end there today. We should want to give our best unto God. We should want to give unto him cheerfully. I find it interesting with the badger skins. They uh, were going to make this tabernacle with badger skins. I think that's part of the waterproofing process uh, to keep the water running off. We'll end that today. May the Lord bless you.